In this video lesson, I'm going to talk about the best way to day trade using the squeeze, focusing on smaller time frames. Hey, what's going on? I'm Jeff Moore, published author, professional trader for 16 years, and this is TTM Squeeze Show. Okay, before we get started, do me a favor. If you like trading the squeeze, hey, help me out. Give me a thumbs up on this video. It really does support the channel, but more importantly, it spreads this video out to more people like you who trade the TTM squeeze that need that help. I would really appreciate it. Okay, hey, thank you very much. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about day trading the squeeze, utilizing smaller time frames. I'm going to be sharing with you a couple different concepts in this video lesson that's going to really give you that edge if you use the squeeze on the smaller time frames. Okay, now I did this training just a little while back, but I updated it for this year. All right, hey, let's get into the video. So one of the things is it's when we're, when we're in a squeeze, wouldn't it be nice to know if this squeeze is going to be the one that works out? Right. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> I mean, how great would that be if you were in a squeeze and you knew, like, hey, man, that squeeze is going to fire to the downside. Or that squeeze is going to fire to the upside. I think there are clues. I want to go pull up a blank notepad. And let's talk really quickly about market structure before I jump into this. Okay, so an uptrend, for example. An uptrend is a series of higher highs and higher lows, right? And again, stay with me, guys, because I'm going to pack a ton of information in this bad boy. We're always students. As soon as somebody stops learning, they're dead. If you ever meet anybody that they're telling you, I don't need any more, you know, learning, like, I'm good. You know what? It's just a matter of time before they die. But hear me out for a minute. Let's go back to this market structure idea. So I want you to assume for a minute, let's just say this is the daily time frame, okay? Let's say we're looking at a daily chart. We have higher highs and higher lows. How many of you enter a trade, it looks phenomenal, and it just fails, and you're stuck asking yourself, how the heck did that fail? It was such a beautiful trend. I don't know about you, but I've got into so many squeezes where it just looked phenomenal. And I'm like, what the heck? What's going on? I think the key is going to lie into what I'm talking about today. It's the bigger time frame. Hear me out because we're going to go deep on this. So you got to pull back. You got to pull back. You got to pull back. So on the daily time frame, you've got these pullbacks. Well, guess what? Let's Think for a minute, let's just say you were trading the 39-minute chart. If you're trading the 39-minute chart, during this time frame, when the daily is pulling back, what do you think the 39-minute is doing? The 39-minute looks nasty, right? It looks nasty. Now, hear me out for a minute. And then whenever it goes up, it looks. So check this out, though. But if it's a true uptrend, we're going to pull back to a higher low, which means if I'm trading the 39-minute chart, don't I want to know what the daily time frame is doing to give myself a clue? For example, when the market is at resistance on the daily time frame, what do we expect? It's either going to break or it's going to roll over. So if I'm trading a smaller time frame, let's say the 39 minute during that, it's going up, right? And then it probably forms a squeeze here. And then when it fires against you, you're wondering, well, how the heck did that fire against me? But if you would have paid attention to the daily time frame, you would have said, wait a minute, this is at resistance. That squeeze Again, it could break, but a lot of charts, they pull back at resistance, and then they break. They don't just shoot up like a rocket ship. 
So when the squeeze fires on the 39 man in chart and you're sitting there telling yourself what the heck happened, if you would have looked at the daily time frame and you would have saw that the daily time frame was at resistance, maybe you wouldn't have taken that squeeze trade because it's at a critical area. But check this out. What if you see squeezes along the way? If it's a true uptrend, those squeezes are more likely to fire in the upward direction. Let's talk about this. So this little arrow right here, do you know that on a smaller time frame, let's go the 39 minute, the 39 minute chart is cruising down. The squeezes are more likely to fire to the downside. But again, you're going against the bigger trend because the bigger trend is up. So why don't you, as the market is pulling back on the flag, you know the smaller time frame. When you see that double bottom, reversal, divergence into the squeeze, this is more likely to fire to the upside because of where we're at. And if it doesn't, you know where to get out. Let's say we're in a downtrend on the bigger time frame. You see this hookup right here? On the 39 minute chart, what do you think that is? Again, that's usually some type of reversal pattern, right? And then it goes up and then it forms this squeeze. We talk about this all the freaking time. The blue comes down, it's below the pink. Hear me out for a minute. And then what it does is crosses back above like that, right? And then it forms this squeeze. And then it fires to the downside. But if you would have looked at the bigger time frame and drew, let's say, your Fibonacci from, from high to low, maybe this hookup was just a 50% Fibonacci retracement on the bigger time frame. And you wonder why that squeeze failed? And again, we don't know the future. But my point is, am I better off, even though the smaller time frame looks so good, I get a signal, maybe the, the blue starting across the 21, you're getting a cluster dot. The reality is, I got to be prepared. If I'm in, the, I'm not saying don't get in the trade, but what I'm saying is, there's been times where I've held the trade and kept my stop loss down here and just said, well, as long as it doesn't break this low, why am I doing that if we're in a downtrend? Because I'm expecting this bear flag to break to a new low. I could have traded this squeeze to the downside because it's nothing more than a bear flag on the bigger time frame. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to get at, it's not about, oh, what's the momentum on the bigger time frame? It's more, what's the market structure? on the bigger time frame. And if I'm going to trade a smaller time frame, how can I use the bigger time frame to my advantage? If I'm looking at the 3 minute chart and the 3 minute chart is in a flag or let's say the 5 minute, this pullback on the 3 minute chart is going to look a little bit deeper on the 1 minute. But then as soon as I get this double bottom reversal divergence into the squeeze, can't I even be more confident when I know that we are just in a bull flag? And if it maintains market structure, it's going to bounce. So pay attention to the bigger time frame. I want to know what is going on on the bigger time frame. If we, on the bigger time frame, are in a flag, we pull back into a flag. And then, you know, you get that little inside bar. Now, on a smaller time frame, that's probably some type of reversal pattern, probably a divergence, probably a cluster dot. But check this out. It bounces. Now, trends don't go straight up. They pull back. They pause. And then they keep going up. And then sometimes they roll over. 
but then they keep going back up. Our assumption is that this is going to make it up to here. And then it goes up, and then it pauses and pulls back, and then it explodes. On that smaller time frame, you know, again, if I'm trading a smaller time frame, okay, I've got to be aware of what's going on. And then back out and look at the bigger picture. But on a smaller time frame, what do you think this pattern looks like? I'll tell you exactly what it looks like. Remember this, because I'm going to have to erase this. Remember this pattern, right? The bull flag pulls up, takes a break, and then goes. This is what it looks like on a smaller time frame. What is that? Cup and handle, right? So all those, when we get in here on that double bottom reversal, we're riding it up to the top. If it makes it to the top on the bigger time frame, that's what we expect. But you got to be mindful. But again, up there, if it starts to roll over, is it okay to take profit? Yeah. Okay, then it pulls back into a squeeze. We're expecting it to form that handle. But what I'm saying is, down here, I'm more confident. Now, also lots of times it does this. Do, 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 coming down, double bottom, boom, fires, rolls over. Okay, and what does that look like on the bigger time frame? That's nothing more than a bull flag that bounced, that pulled back. This time period right here is right here. Is this making sense? Again, if this low still holds, we expect the pattern to chop and then go. We have to assume. So all I'm trying to say is, and I'll finish this up and we'll kind of open up the discussion is, Start looking at the bigger time frame. If the bigger time frame is in an uptrend pulling back support and you see a double bottom divergence entry on a one minute, go for it. That's your time to take it. I don't care if the momentum's up. What I care about is what is the market structure? What pattern is developing? So if I get stopped out and I'm left cold, like, why did I get stopped out? Now I know. And now I know when I see these one-minute divergences and I see that it's basically pulling back to support in an uptrend on the bigger time frame, why would I not trade that? All right, hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video lesson. I promise you, if you start implementing what I share with you in today's video lesson and you want to trade smaller time frames with the squeeze, it's going to make all the difference. Hey, listen, right now, this month, Anybody who gets my Options Elite Masterclass, I'm going to give you my TTM Squeeze bonus course for free. All right? So if that interests you, make sure you check down below in the description because it's free this month if you get my Options Elite. Plus, I have a whole bunch of other bonuses. Now, if you do not have the Squeeze Pro and you want to get the Squeeze Pro, it's through Simpler Trading. I'm affiliated with Simpler Trading. So if you use my affiliate link in the description, to get that indicator. It's not going to cost you any more money, but if you use my link to get that indicator, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook you up with all sorts of bonuses. All right? So make sure you check down below in the description for all the bonuses I'm going to give you if you get that indicator through my link. Just email me. Let me know you got it so I can send you the bonuses. Hey, do me a favor. If you enjoyed today's video lesson, if you found value in this squeeze video, hey, give me a thumbs up. That's all I ask. I really appreciate it. Number one, it helps support the channel, but more importantly, it spreads this video out to other individuals like you who want to learn how to trade the squeeze. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. I'm Jeff Moore saying if you want to have more, you got to think more. Peace.